know about you, but it seems like a solid day to go thrifting. It's nice out. So let's go thrifting. First up is this Salvation Army because I haven't been there in a while, so why not? And immediately I noticed this retro looking lamp with a color scheme that uh, actually looks like one of the glasses I have in my cabinet. I approve. I was kind of surprised to see this fridge over here plugged in and working. Mm, no ice cream sandwiches though. And hey look, an iMega zip drive. I just recently did a video on this, so I have no need for one, but funny finding uh, one in the box like the day that I recorded it. <laughs> what is this? Hammer time. Mmm, I guess this is pretty friggin' fantastic. <laughs> I kind of wanted to get this. I didn't, but man, that's inspiring. And hey, I did not expect to see this kind of thing here at this store. I typically don't find too many games at this uh, particular spot, but here were some PS2 games and um, a few that I didn't have. So I ended up picking Rayman Arena, FIFA Street, and the original SSX, which I've played tricky, but never the first one. So cool. Alrighty, on to this Goodwill. It's such a lovely day out. And look at all the flowers and stuff blooming around the rock over there. I believe it alone today. Inside though, blah, it's full of this retail reject band-aids and sponges and mirrors and cheaply made auto logos. It's like a plague, man. The Dollar General just explodes and dies and its carcass flies all over the Goodwills. Hey, anybody want some Goodwill rations? <laughs> these are some Sapaco MREs. Offered to get one of these boxes and send it over to Steve1989 MRE Info, but he never got back to me, so oh well. Over in the computer games and, you know, other things, I found a couple Zoo Tycoon boxes here. Actually, Zoo Tycoon 2 didn't have these at all, so I got them. Hey, check this out. Here is a console TV. It is a Zenith model, and yeah, it's just uh, hanging out right here. It's three dollars. Yeah, I don't need one. I already have another one that I kind of like the look of better. But yeah, man, three bucks. That's a pretty cool little retro TV setup for someone who wants an incredibly bulky thing in their house. And this immediately grabbed my attention because I saw an AT connector on the end there. This keyboard. It looks like an IBM Model M, but it's not. In fact, it's not even clicky mechanical at all. It feels like crap. Super cheap knockoff. Um, but, I mean, the design is familiar. It's new to me. There's also a pair of rotary telephones here. These always intrigue me because, I don't know, I like the mechanism, but I don't, I don't need another one. I don't need one of these either, but man, it looks cool. This Motorola clock radio dealio here. Check this thing out, man. This design is just delightfully mid-century. I don't know. There's something about it that is uh, appealing and yet is also a huge turnoff. It was kind of, you know, broken, beat up, so I didn't get it, but uh, I don't know. Fascinating design, kind of polarizing. And then I saw this little guy. Well, it's not little, it's huge. <laughs> this is a brother WP2600Q word processor with a floppy drive and a delightful amber CRT display. Plugged it in and tested it out. It's so it's awesome looking. What a cool looking design. This is the kind of word processor that I would pick up. I don't really like the kinds with the LCDs and whatnot. This is awesome. However, I still didn't end up getting it. For one thing, the printing mechanism didn't seem to respond at all. And the other thing is it was $45, which is, I just, I don't want to spend that on this, but man, it looks cool. All right, on to another Goodwill on this lovely day. And yeah, let's step on this rock and see if it brings me any luck. Well, no luck so far. More of the same crappy car parts and discount store rejects. Man, it's covering up the glass case in the front. You can barely see what's in here. Anyway, on to the back of the store and the electronicals. And check out this other rotary phone. It's rotary phone day. This one always reminds me of the ones that Cruella DeVille used in the 101 Dimensions cartoon. Uh, yeah. And over in the toys and whatnot, I found a few retro games over here. Some Super Nintendo games, a couple Game Gear games, and a Sega Genesis game. Pretty much just, you know, like sports and cheapo kind of things. Either stuff that I already have or do not want. But uh, yeah, there was columns. And over near the unloved toasters, there is something that definitely got my attention just because I did not recognize the media slot until I looked at it closer and turns out this is a JVC mini disc recorder. The heck, I have never seen one of these in person, or at least not in a Goodwill. I might have seen them in Circuit City back in the day, but uh, yeah, plugged it in and it powers up and whatnot. I don't know if it works, but I'm gonna grab it for three bucks, why not? 
Next, Goodwill. On the agenda is this one, and inside, I immediately noticed Para World. This PC game, mostly for the box, not just because dinosaurs, but check out that cool cutout. I didn't end up getting it because it was all torn up and it ended up not having the discs, but hey, interesting box. Oh, hey, look, it's one of those obnoxious rabbit pillows. <laughs> or well, I don't know what they're called, but they were really popular like 10 years ago. Maybe they still are, but whoever had like the stickers of these on their cars, I always judged them. Ooh, now this is an appealing typewriter. I love this like creamy white in the red key up there to the top right. I kind of want to make a mechanical keyboard that looks like this, but uh, yeah, neat typewriter. Also a neat clock. Check out this Lloyd's thing. That's clock radio. I just like the design because, you know, not just because wood grain, but it's got this design. Another interesting doohickey over here. I think from the 70s, this is just a cassette player, but man, I am a model PS2000. I'm using a mount of uh, IO on the back there, and I just, I don't know, I like the way this thing looks. Feels pretty cheap though, and the wood like isn't even real. It's like particle board with veneer, but, but whatever. It's sweet to look at in a Goodwill. And then I noticed this. <laughs> this is one of the many 4D mouse products from whenever. It's got dual scroll wheels. From what I gather, one of them goes vertically and one of them goes horizontally, even though they both sort of scroll the same way. I don't know, but this seems like odd wear. There were a lot of these and I've been wanting to cover it, so I picked it up for a dollar. And finally, this Goodwill, because it's over here. And right inside was a Sega Game Gear with some games for $45. Not a bad deal. I was tempted to grab it, even though I already have one and the games, I think, that were already here. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's a good price. I didn't, though, and it was gone the next day. Hey, I recognize these kind of boxes. Here's Cartopedia, which is a Dorling Kindersley multimedia program. The people that did the way things work, games, well, sort of games, interactive encyclopedias. Uh, here's another one by them, in, uh, Eyewitness Encyclopedia of Science. I remember vaguely playing these a little bit, either at a friend's house or a library back in the day. I'm grabbing them. I didn't grab this, well, except for in person at the store. I mean, I didn't buy it. <laughs> this is SimCity 2000 CD collection. Pretty nice condition box. I was surprised to see this. I don't ever really see this particular release of the game in a Goodwill. So amused by it, I didn't even notice those OG Barney tapes. I did notice this, though. It's one of those TV game systems, all-in-ones, whatevers, <laughs> well before the NES Mini. This is a ColecoVision system. I don't even know if it's any good. I barely remember seeing this in stores. I'm sure someone will get it, though. I'll stick to my original Coleco. Also noticed this cable, mainly because of the adapter and then the 13W3 connector on the end there. And it turns out it's from Apple. I wonder what this went to. If anybody can let me know, uh, let me know. I assume it's some kind of a studio monitor because 13W3 is pretty serious stuff. Not something you see in Goodwill very often. Whoa, dude, this adding machine is, <laughs> that's impressive, man, from Burroughs. It didn't, um, seemed to want to move, really, and the mechanisms were screwed up, but wow, it was like cast iron. What a beast. Also notice this little TIAC external DVD drive. I didn't know that they made these. I guess I shouldn't be surprised since they made like floppy drives and stuff too, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know, it kind of amused me. This, on the other hand, well, this got my attention much more so than just a passing, like, what? This is a Technics keyboard, uh, a synthesizer with all sorts of fantastic functions on here, man. PCM sampling, a composer, auto-playing of chords. Model number is SXK700 for those interested. And I mean, with the case, it came with a manual. It was $100. I ended up grabbing it. Can't resist, man. 80 synth for, uh, yeah. Rating my experience at Goodwill, very happy, that is for sure. Now it's time to make some sick beats. <laughs> And that is all for episode 34 of LGR Thrifts. And other than the keyboard, here's what I ended up grabbing today. Zoot Tycoon 2 and the Marine Mania expansion pack, a 4D mouse, a JVC mini disc recorder that I don't know if it works, a couple of DK Media PC programs, and a few PS2 games. Not bad, although it's taken a long time to get this stuff, like two months. Yeah, it's been a dry couple of months around here for thrifting, but you know, I'm still finding things every so often, which is cool because I like making 
making these episodes, and I still like seeing what you guys have found, which has been much more lucky than me, I would say. But, you know, I love seeing y'all find cool stuff. So, awesome. Keep sending it my way, and I'll keep making thrifts as often as I can whenever I find things. Hopefully the rest of the summer will fare a little bit better. But, yeah, thank you very much for watching.